Hello guys, it is Kate of Theories here and this Friday the brand new series of the Dumping Ground will officially be dropping so I thought today we'd finally answer the big question that has been wondering for 9 years now and that is is the dumping ground better than its predecessor Tracy Beaker Returns? Both shows are so similar yet so different so I thought today we'd put these shows head to head in different categories and work out the truth for once which one is better. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make any brand new dumping ground or Tracy Beaker related videos. <laughs> To start with, these shows are very similar, but at the same time can't really be compared fairly just next to each other. Tracy Beaker Returns only had three series and had barely anyone really leave the dumping ground with not many new characters being introduced, whereas the dumping ground has had eight series with its ninth about to premiere with loads of new characters being introduced and old ones leaving. Not to mention the first four series of the dumping ground basically have the exact same cast as all of Tracy Beaker Returns with just a few new add-ons. And still today there are characters who have appeared in both shows with Jody being the last one standing. Ending. Not to mention you have occasions where characters have returned such as Tracy and Liam. So to make it fair for both shows I'm going to be basing each category off an average of the whole show rather than using all 9 series compared to 3 series as that could be unfair to either show depending on the category. With each category that we do, one show will win and will gain one point. If it is really close, we may give half points and then at the end, we'll add up the scores and see which show will win. Let me know which show you think should win in each category down below in the comments while we're going through this. So to start with, let's look at the category of characters. Both shows have absolutely amazing characters, but like I said before about being fair, most of the characters from Tracy Beaker Returns then went on to appear in the dumping ground and many ended up staying for several series. The only characters who solely appeared in Tracy Beaker Returns are ones such as Cam, Poppy and Rosie, Toby and Sapphire, and apart from Poppy and Rosie who we barely got to see, they're all pretty good and decent characters. And along with the rest of the cast and of course Tracy Beaker herself, I can't actually think of any bad main characters that the show had to offer. Whereas I can't exactly say the same for The Dumping Ground. If you look at the characters who've only appeared in The Dumping Ground, there are some great ones as well such as Sasha, Bailey, Kazima, Charlie, Alex, Beck, Finn, Ryan and the list just goes on. But at the same time, the show also has introduced many, many awful characters and you may disagree with me on these but I really cannot stand Taz, Floss, Max, Katie, Joseph and Jay. But if we look at all of the characters who have appeared in both, I can look at a few characters and say they were better in one show than the other. For example, I much prefer Johnny and his arc in The Dumping Ground compared to Tracy Beaker Returns, but I prefer Lily in Tracy Beaker Returns than in The Dumping Ground as she had a lot more to do, and when they brought back Tracy in The Dumping Ground, I just thought she was kind of underused in it. So The Dumping Ground has a lot more series, so it's more likely it's going to have more good characters, and therefore, unfortunately for the show, it's more likely it's also going Going to have many bad characters. But if we look at an average, like I said before, personally I like every new character who was introduced in Tracy Beaker Returns, whereas I don't in The Dumping Ground. So for that reason, Tracy Beaker Returns wins with one point, but I'm going to say The Dumping Ground gets a half point as many of the characters appear in both, so it's just not really a fair comparison. Moving on to our next category of character arcs and how the characters develop across the shows. This could be a negative or positive but since Tracy Beaker Returns was so short it meant that the character arcs were a lot more precise but still good compared to the dumping ground ones. You had great ones like Tracy learning to be a care worker and getting through adult life then being confident enough to leave, Sapphire's growth of leaving the dumping ground and then coming back and just trying to grow up independently, Liam trying not to get into trouble and being abandoned by foster parents and Lily with her sisters and that story arc. The only problem was that it was harder for all characters to have such extensive character arcs because the show was so concise. As for the dumping ground, lots of characters have had great emotional character arcs with many spanning lots of series and you can clearly see with many characters the character development and growth that they've gone through. A few standing out are Kazima and her coming from the streets, then helping Alex and then finally getting to see her family again, Jodie and Tyler's relationship, Bailey's arrogant attitude to then going off to play football, 
Ryan being annoying and always trying to get everyone in trouble and then eventually growing up and confronting his mum, Sasha and her anger issues, Faith and her sport, and of course Mike's very long character arc and finally being ready to leave the dumping ground. Not to mention some characters got multiple across both shows. Liam for example had a full story arc in Trace Week Returns but then got a new extra one when he returned in the dumping ground and for characters like Johnny I thought his character arc was much better in the dumping ground with him finally confronting Keith and putting his thoughtful nature for something good compared to what he was like in Trace Week Returns. So for these reasons I'm going to give the dumping ground one point here and let it be the winner of this category but since the dumping ground has much more series to basically develop characters Trace Week Returns gets a half point because I do absolutely love the character arcs that I'd mentioned before especially ones that started from the beginning of the show all the way to the end of the show like Sapphire and Tracy's. Next let's compare individual episodes and to be honest all of the Tracy Beaker episodes are just instant classics in my opinion. You have ones such as Tracy Beaker Superstar, Goodbye Tracy Beaker, Big Brother, A Day in the Countryside, Burning Wood Menace, Electra, Visitors and Firestarter, Justine Littlewood Returns and loads loads more. The only bad one I can really think of is the werewolf and even that isn't really that bad it's just insanely forgettable. Whereas the dumping ground is a very much mixed bag which to be fair it does have over 150 episodes so you're bound to get just some really bad episodes but it's like half the time they're instant classics with episodes such as Home Alone, SOS, Breaking In, Jodie and Wonderland, Dragon Slayer, Refuge, The End of It All, Hashtag Save the DG, Missing Presume Single, the Last Dance and more but at the same time there's also some really really bad episodes. Just look at basically all of series 8 apart from the first episode and when Tyler leaves. It's just a full series of bad episodes and it isn't helped by the fact that the dumping ground also just has some really strange middle episodes that just seem really out of place in a series such as the musical episode. Overall, the episodes for The Dumping Ground unfortunately have been on a downtrend over the past few years, which brings its average down a lot. I think Trace Bigger Returns benefited from being concise, and on average, all of his episodes were great in my opinion, and I can't say that for The Dumping Ground's average. So, that's a point for Trace Bigger Returns. Finally, the last category is the storylines in the show, how the plots compare to each other. I thought I'd look more at overall storylines compared to just looking at individual series as most series of both don't really focus on a series arc of such. Unfortunately this also does bring up another issue in comparing these shows as Tracy Beaker focuses around one main character with the plot always concerning around Tracy whereas The Dumping Ground doesn't really have one main character at the centre of everything but we'll still compare these main plots. Firstly, Tracy Beaker Returns has some incredible series openers such as Tracy Beaker Superstar, Burning Wood Menace slash Drained, and Visitors slash Firestarters. And the entire premise and plot of the show revolving around Tracy Beaker as a care worker is just excellent and a great improvement from the story of Tracy Beaker. Seeing Tracy having to balance adult life while being a care worker and having to interact with the kids who she looks after but also the care workers who used to look after her is an awesome dynamic to have and this creates fun storylines and plots and seeing how Tracy gets along with all of these characters and seeing how they grow over time from the first episode to the end is just so so good. Not to mention, in Tracy Beaker Returns, the drama can get very high and very intense. I mean, there's literally an episode where a child falls off a roof at one point. Whereas, The Dumping Ground, like I said before, doesn't focus around one character, so instead has a lot more different storylines and plot points that all seem to come together in a way that usually works and doesn't seem out of place. It also has some great series openers, but also some great endings, such as Home Alone slash Liberty in the DG, Kickoff slash Quitters, Reunion slash Mighty Mike Milligan slash The Last Dance to name a few. And there's also some great and complex storylines like Jodie's full story arc with her family and her relationship with Tyler. But there is one issue that I have with the storylines in the Dumping Ground and that is as it's gone on the drama and intense bits have kind of died out. In the early series they were dealing with grenades and people being ran over but I could never really see that happening now. I'm not saying the show necessarily needs to see people falling off the roof, but nowadays the dumping ground just seems to be lacking in these big climactic events that make the plot so so good. That's the problem it has. Unfortunately, many of its storylines do tend to drag on a lot. Floss and her plot lines is the one that mainly comes to mind when I think of that. 
So I'm going to say yet again, Tracy Beaker Returns wins a point for this one with its concise plot lines and storytelling compared to the Dumping Ground's more dragged out ones. However, since it was much easier for Tracy Beaker to do that as it revolves around one character, I'm going to give the DG half a point since it does have some amazing plot lines as well. So finally, if we look at the scores, Tracy Beaker Returns wins with three and a half points compared to the Dumping Ground's two points. I personally absolutely love both shows, but I have always thought that Tracy Beaker Returns is just better than The Dumping Ground on average, and I think the main reason for that was because it didn't drag on and knew when it was time to stop, and it did end on an absolute high. But anyway guys, that is the end of this video, I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, I want to hear all your thoughts on how you guys would compare these two shows, which one is your favourite, let me know down below in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you think that Tracy Week Returns is the overall better show? Or do you think that The Dumping Ground is a better show? And let me know any other versus video ideas you want us to cover down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. I'd love to hear all your opinions on this topic. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.